Okay. So now I did a video on uh, an email that was put out of Sargon being uh, supposedly kicked out of UKIP. It turns out that was a false email. It was a fake email, so that was false. So I wanted to issue that correction for everyone just so you know. That, that turned out to be fake. It was a lie. It wasn't an actual email. Sargon posted a picture of his UKIP card, which he has. So all three, Sargon of Akkad, Paul Joseph Watson, and Count Dankula, all three of them have officially joined UKIP. Now, it's the UK Independence Party. They're very well known for their uh, strong views on Brexit and pushing Brexit very hard. Now what we're going to be looking at is a really, really cringy video. It's someone who's already in UKIP. I think he might be like one of the high-ranking members or something like that. This guy is going to welcome them, and he's going to explain that he can't wait for dank memes, and he wants to trigger the other people in Parliament. Check it out. Today I'm celebrating the news that the EU withdrawal bill has received royal assent. Now this means we've finally embarked on the first step to achieving the Brexit that 17.4 million Britons voted for on June 23rd, 2016. It's taken over two years just to get to this point, thanks to the constant meddling of the political establishment and Theresa May's shambolic shilly-shallying. It's now up to UKIP to unite and make the final push for an independent Britain, something I've campaigned for since I joined the Anti-Common Market League way back in 1967. UKIP is at last going forward again under Gerard Batten, and I'm excited to learn that a number of big-name social influencers have joined the party. I'd like to welcome Paul Joseph Watson, Sargon of Akkad, Count Dankula, and Milo Yiannopoulos to our party. Now, if you're not a social media animal, some of these names may seem a bit strange, but they're all true crusaders for freedom of expression, and I'm delighted they realise that UKIP is the only party committed to this principle. I look forward to them developing truly dank memes, that will trigger lefty lovies like Gary Lineker, James O'Brien, and the rest of their politically correct establishment chums. The future is looking bright for UKIP under Gerard Batten, and a strong UKIP means a strong Brexit. Onwards, upwards, and out! Yeah, that was pretty cringy. Like, it's weird how all these dudes have world maps behind them. That's very odd to me, personally. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But, you know, when, you, when your entire political aims... And your political taxonomy and your political ideology just comes down to making memes and triggering people. Um, it's very embarrassing. That's the point where, you know, it's time for you to be laughed at, not to take you seriously. Because, again, when your political aims come down to, I'm going to trigger blank or I'm going to trigger these lefties or trigger, you know, whoever liberals in the UK parliament or left wingers in the UK parliament. That's really, really fucking embarrassing because... Now you don't really even have a political ideology at this point. You're just trying to trigger people. And seeing an old man, uh, it, it, you're take like you can have criticism of PC culture. There are totally right criticisms of it. I can understand some criticisms of it. But you just took it to the whole other side, where now you're just being an embarrassing buffoon of just being this like childish. <laughs> I'm and I love memes. Memes are fucking awesome. But when you're talking about your political ideology being based on, you know, we can't wait to make memes to to trigger these people, then you don't really have any ideas that you're really pushing forth and no ideas that you really are believing in. You're just trying to trigger whoever lefties or you you know, you see in parliament or whatever it may be. And that that's really, really fucking embarrassing.